hello my beautiful friends i hope that you guys are having a really really good day today in today's video i wanted to do something a little bit different so i am going to tell you about the things that i have been loving lately i have a lot of skincare i have some makeup things and just some products that i have really been loving for a few months now so it's more like a november current favorites but it's things that i have been using for a long time i just wanted to do something a little bit different i feel like i'm always doing tutorials and reviews so if you guys don't like this kind of video then i will see you on the next one but i hope that you want to listen and that you're interested in this video and if you are then just stay tuned keep on watching keep listening i will also show you this eyeshadow look it's just a very very quick tutorial but most of the video we are going to talk about my current favorites which maybe it'll give you guys some ideas for like christmas presents i don't know but yeah if you're interested in listening to me talk about my current favorites and if you want to see a quick eyeshadow tutorial of this look then just keep on watching so the very first thing that i want to show you guys is this fenty beauty lip balm this has been a favorite of mine for a very long time i had this one in i still have it actually in the clear uh, shade the clear shade i carry in my purse i take it with me everywhere this one came out just a few months ago and it's in the shade pinch me i have it on my lips right now it is so beautiful and their formulas for their lip balms are just so nice they also hydrate your lips and i love the packaging it's just very easy to just put in your purse and i don't know i just love it so much and this one has a tint to it so the other one that i carry in my purse is the clear one this one has a a little bit of color to it and it's beautiful and i don't know if you guys have this problem but with me a lot of lip glosses after i wear them for like a couple of hours it'll give me like this weird like white film around like the inside of the edge of my lips this one i can wear for hours upon hours and it will not do that so i don't know what's in the formula but all I know is that it keeps my lips hydrated, it looks beautiful, it feels really nice on the lips, and it lasts for hours. So if you guys are looking for a new lip gloss, lip balm, try this one. Yes, so good. Okay, my second favorite thing is I just got this actually last month from Ulta, and this is a brush cleaner so i used to be really really good with washing my brushes but i am not that good anymore because i just don't have the time so i love to get spray bottles to clean my brushes i usually clean them after pretty much every eyeshadow look that i do like as i'm doing my makeup i put my brushes to the side and then those are the ones that i know that i have to clean i used to use the where is it oh it's not anyway i have like 10 bottles of the one that i used to use that are empty because it used to be the mac uh brush cleaner but that one is expensive i think i used to pay like 28 dollars for it and it would dry out my brushes a lot so i picked this one up from ulta i think i paid 10 dollars and it smells really really good i can tell it has a little bit of an oil to it but not too much there's another one that people used to love i have it somewhere as well um i think it was by cinema secrets that one i could not do because the smell to me smelled like like roach killer spray i just can't do that one i'm sorry i know a lot of people love it i just i'm very sensitive to smells i can't do that one this one i would say it's kind of the same but it's not as oily as that one and it leaves your brushes just like really clean smells really good it doesn't leave them dry because like i said it does have a little bit of like that oil consistency to it but it looked like it's almost halfway i think i got it about three weeks ago 
it is so so good so yes oh no yeah okay okay i'm so stupid so i got it from ulta but it's actually from it cosmetics yes it cosmetics i think i paid 10 or 12 dollars for it but if you if you're looking for a good brush cleaner try this one it's really good the other one that i got from ulta was this one this is the one i got from ulta so i got this one because it was on sale it used to be it used to be ten dollars and i got it on sale for two dollars and i haven't used it that much as you guys can see but honestly it's not that bad i think i used it like three times and i liked it but i just like the one from it cosmetics more because it smells really really nice so i don't know so the next thing that i have been loving and i think you guys know that i love this because a lot of my videos are on this makeup brand but it would have to be ColourPop palettes i love not only do i love their formula so so much but i love the little ones like the little ones that they release are so cute i mean baby yoda hello by the way did you guys hear what baby yoda's real name is i'm not gonna say it because i don't want to spoil it for anyone that didn't find out but apparently he has a name i'm still gonna call him baby yoda because he's adorable and baby yoda is just his name but i mean look at how cute their palettes are they're affordable and honestly like the quality compared to anything else brand name like Nat natasha denona like i'm not gonna pay 60 dollars for a palette or 80 dollars or however i've never tried her palettes before by the way ever i refuse i think i went to sephora one time and i wanted to get one of her palettes and i think it was like 135 dollars or something it was expensive and i was like no i'm not doing that um so i don't know but i can't imagine that it's gonna be out of this world like a better formula than color pop so um anyway like baby yoda they had they came out with these like the ornate um all the little flower collections i mean look at that look at the colors and the hello kitty one which is the brand new one i think this one just came out like a few days ago this is the one that i'm wearing on my eyes and i'm gonna show you a quick look with this eyeshadow in just a few seconds uh but look at how adorable this is and also did you guys know and i don't know if you know this i know this i don't know if you guys know but their palettes are actually magnetic so like you can take out you can take out the little pants in here and put them in like a z palette if you want to create your own like color pop palette with the palettes that you have um you can literally just like take a magnet and take out the eyeshadows and then you can put them in a z palette if you want to i don't do that just because i love the way that they come but if someone ever wanted to rearrange all of their color pop palettes and put them in a z palette to create like a new palette you can do that um but i love that i love that they are all like magnetic they all come out and you can just arrange them however you want so anyway really quickly i am going to show you an eyeshadow look with the hello kitty palette since this is one of their new palettes yes okay here we go getting started with the tutorial i am going to prime my eyes using the p louise base in 2.0 i am then taking the pink from the palette and using a synthetic blending brush i am going to pack this color right into the outer corner i'm applying it to the lid and the crease and next i am taking the orange from the palette and doing the same steps packing the color into the lid the crease and i'm also going to use the same blending brush to blend these two colors so i went a little bit out of order because i was rushing through this a little bit you know but i i'm applying the shimmery purple to the inner corner and then i'm taking the shimmery peach to whatever is left of the lid i am then going into the lighter color and i'm using this color as my transition shade and just basically applying it above the previous shades just to add 
this color for my transition and to blend a little bit more if that makes sense okay moving on i am going to grab the darker shade or I, sh I should say the darkest shade from the palette and using the same blending brush as before i am going to very lightly add this color in a bit at a time you don't want to add too much because we want it to stay pretty light we're just adding it to just give a bit more dimension anyway next i am taking the balms schwing eyeliner and just creating a wing moving on to the lower lash line i am taking the darkest color from the palette which is that dark purple and just applying it right under there you know and then i'm taking the pink color and using that to blend the lower lash line I am then taking this pencil from ColourPop for the waterline. I used Fenty Beauty's mascara and for lashes, I am using Hank and Henry Beauty's lashes in the style Saint. And that's it. This is the finished look. I know I was really quick, really fast, but I wanted to still include a tutorial in this video. I hope you guys like it and I'll see you in just a second with a few other favorites. And the other lip product that I wanted, I know I have, I didn't realize that I have so many lip products in today's video, but I do. Um, the other one is this one. I actually had this on before, but I took it off just because I don't, I'm not comfortable wearing lipstick as much anymore. I don't know why. But anyway, these are from Makeup Forever. I know they are a bit of a weird shape and I don't say i don't want to say that i love like the packaging because it's a little bit yeah it's a little it's a little weird for me but but i do love the shape on the inside so it's shaped like super super sharp and it just has like this weird i don't know it's kind of hard to explain but it is perfect for getting like the lipstick inside your lips like if you don't want to use a lip liner you can definitely stay within the lines with this particular lipstick because it just stays in there and the formula is super creamy the colors are beautiful it's not completely matte they are a creamy formula um let me see let me see if i can show you hold on okay so let me show you this one really fast, okay? But you'll see. It just... You see how it's like a perfect straight line? It's the shape of it. It's very thin at the tip. You see? look at that so yeah that is this one and again it's just like the shape of the lipstick is perfect for staying inside the lines and the formula is really nice it's not super super matte it is a little bit creamy but it does look more matte but it's creamy and it feels good on your lips like it's not drying i'm not like super in love with the packaging and the shape of the packaging but i love the formula and i love the shape of the lipstick because it helps to stay within the lines especially if you don't want to use a lip liner so yeah if you're looking for a new lipstick and you need help staying within the lines give this one a try this one again is from makeup forever and the shade that i'm wearing now is the shade 104 so another thing that I've been loving, and it's another lip product. I think this is the last one that I have. So this one is from It Cosmetics, and it's called Pillow Lips Solid Serum. So it comes in this little like pen like shape which I love. Like it's especially very very easy to just throw in your purse, and it has a clicker, so it's very very safe for your purse like you know sometimes those lipsticks the caps come off and then you have lipstick all inside your purse we don't want that 
so this one it actually has the little clicker so just and the cap is very very like secure but i'm gonna put it on okay i'm gonna put it on so you guys see it's so easy and look at how pretty it looks it's kind of like it looks like a lip gloss but it feels so the formula is a hydrating formula it's not just a lip gloss it's actually supposed to help you with your like dry with dry lips <laughs> i was gonna say with your dry lips my dry lips i've you guys know i've had dry lips for like two weeks and i've been wearing this one all day and my lips are feeling so so much better like so much better so it has a formula in it that it's supposed to really really help your lips to not only hydrate but to heal them from the dryness so yeah i just wanted to recommend this one to you guys especially right now that it's winter time if you suffer from dry lips honestly like i feel like this has helped me out a lot and you look cute too because you know it gives you like that pretty lip gloss uh look with a little bit of a shade in there you know a little bit of a tint so it looks like you're wearing a lipstick but a lip gloss but you're also getting some hydration in there so i really like it and then when you need a little bit more you just click it and it comes out so you don't have to like take out a lot of the product all at once you know okay so now we are gonna move on to a couple of different i think i'm almost done actually i don't want the video to be too too long but another thing that i needed to mention was my benefit cheerleaders palette i have been using this for like a year and that's the highlighter that i'm wearing right now and i to this day get asked what highlighter am i wearing or if I share a picture with like, you know, someone at work, actually, I work, so I work for Pfizer and I actually had a client email me just this week asking me like, I'm so sorry, but what highlighter are you wearing? And it was the one in this palette. So it's Benefits uh, Cookie Highlighter, which they do sell separately now. They didn't before. Before it only came in this palette, but now you can purchase the highlighter separately. Um, but I love the actual palette because it has the um, caramel bronzer, the hula bronzer. It also has a, another highlighter, a blush. And then my favorite, the cookie highlighter. So I wear the caramel bronzer all of the time, like all the time. Like that's what I have on right now. And as you guys can see, I hit pan on the highlighter. Um, so yeah, if you guys are looking for like a really great um, bronzer, highlighter, blush palette, I recommend this one. But if you don't want to get the palette, you can definitely get the highlighter by itself. It's called cookie highlighter from benefit it is amazing i'm wearing it right now and i'm telling you you will get compliments all the time you will get asked what highlighter you're wearing it happens to me all the time when i wear this highlighter so i'm just saying i'm just giving you a warning if you buy it be prepared to get asked what you're wearing because people love this highlighter okay all right, so I have, I thought I didn't have that much, but I guess I have a lot more than I thought that I did. So I want to share so many things with you guys really quickly, really quickly. I wasn't going to share this, but I'm going to show it to you anyway, because this primer from Too Faced, it is the best primer ever, ever. It actually doesn't say that it's supposed to be pore minimizing, but I feel that it's the only primer that actually minimizes my pores and it makes my makeup look flawless. I This is, I think, like my fourth bottle. And as you guys can see, like I'm pretty much halfway through. And this is the mini version because I ran out of the full version. Um, so it's infused with coconut water and it's silicone free and it just says that it is nourishing it's um yeah i don't even know i think it's supposed to be hydrating i don't know but it i have oily skin well i have more combination combination skin but more on the oil okay 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 hold on so it's combination 
but it's most it's mostly oily i do get some dry patches because i do suffer from psoriasis um but again it is the only primer that i feel that it actually minimizes my pores makes my makeup look super flawless and it doesn't make me oily when i use primers that say that they're pore minimizing what happens is that i end up looking super oily within like an hour i don't know why i don't know if that happens to you guys let me know in the comments down below but i feel like every pore minimizing primer always makes you oily i don't know why that's what happens to me but with this one it doesn't happen like at all so if you guys want to try out a good primer try the Too Faced Hangover RX. I'm telling you, it is really, really good. Now moving on to a few skincare products. So the, talking about me having psoriasis. So that's what the doctor told me. They said it's psoriasis. My mom thinks that it's stress related, um, but I usually get patches like here, um, here, and then sometimes like right here, and it gets really, really bad. Sometimes it goes all the way down to like my sides, and it can get pretty bad. And I have tried every moisturizer like ever, and some of them do help, but nothing helps as much as this moisturizer right here this is another one from it cosmetics i wanted to share this with you guys just in case if you suffer from extremely dry skin or if you have like psoriasis patches anywhere on your skin like you know on your anywhere on your skin um this will help you out so so much like i usually put it on and within five minutes the dry patches are completely gone and they don't come back for the rest of the day so this one is called confidence in a cream and it is an anti-aging moisturizer um i think mine is about halfway gone yeah it's about halfway gone um but i use this all the time and it is honestly amazing it just it's so good so if you're looking for a good moisturizer give this one a try again is it confident confidence in a cream it says that it's for all skin types and it is anti-aging and it's it also says that it's a transforming moisturizing super cream i don't know but it it works wonders um yeah it's amazing okay okay we're almost at the end here sorry i had to get up to get something um, the next couple of things are going to be more skincare and then a gadget that I wanted to share with you guys. So I like to exfoliate as we all should because you need to exfoliate, especially if you want your makeup to look really good. We got to get rid of those dead skin cells. You don't have to exfoliate every single day. You want to do it I don't know every two days, maybe twice a week, three times a week, but you definitely want to make sure that you do some exfoliation to your skin so i usually switch when i exfoliate i don't use the same one all the time but i have been using this one a lot this one is from peter thomas roth and it is a sugar um hold on so it's a three in one intensive skin resurfacer mask it exfoliates with pumpkin enzyme it peels with alpha hydroxy acid and it polishes with aluminum oxide and i love it so much this this one is a little bit on the higher end it's pretty expensive as you guys can see it's about halfway gone it smells really good if you like pumpkin and like fall type of smells you're going to love this one it's like a pumpkin cinnamon type of scent but it smells really good and it leaves your skin really really nice and just like just polished and shiny and yeah it's almost like it resurfaces your skin it's if you have the money for it i recommend this one it's really really good um the other one that it's a little bit on the higher end and this one um i just got a new bottle so i haven't even gotten it out of the box yet but i use this one and i have been using this one for like five years this one is the kate somerville x Kate, 
and it is so good the only thing with this one is that it is a little bit on the pricier side as well and you can get that tingly feeling on your skin when you use it so if you are very sensitive to products i would not recommend this one but if you are not too sensitive and you're looking for something that it's going to really exfoliate and leave your skin looking like super polished and resurfaced um i say try this one it is so good you guys like so good this i swear by this again i've been using this for years and years this is what it looks like on the inside it's a squeezy tube as well so this is what it looks like on the inside um yeah it's really really good but again if you do have sensitive skin i would not recommend it i would go with the peter thomas roth one because that one does not give you the tingly feeling this one does but it's amazing now if you're looking for a good exfoliator that's not as pricey as those two then i recommend this one right here this one i got from ulta beauty and i actually got them for lexi my daughter um she's 14 and i got her too so i got her this is by vitamin c beauty this is a gentle scrub and then there's a green version that is just a normal scrub and it's a little bit stronger that one is gone we used all of it so the only one that we have left is the gentle scrub but it is just as good so this one has sea salt and coconut and it says that it balances and softens scrubs away dirt hydrates thirsty skin and visibly reduces blemishes i usually keep these in the shower and i use them for the times where i didn't get to do my skincare for that week and i just want to do like a quick exfoliation in the shower then i use this one or the green one which is pretty much the same thing it's by the same brand but it's just a little bit stronger this one is for if you have like more sensitive skin it's just a more gentle way to exfoliate and i believe we only paid like 6.99 for these each so if you're looking for a more affordable exfoliator then i say try these guys again this is by vitamin c beauty and i got them from ulta and now i'm going to show you this little gadget that i have been using for actually on and off for like three years now so this is from new face and it is supposed to be an anti-aging toning device so this is for us girls that are like over 25 27 28 you know who's counting uh, and you want to tone your face as you get older you know the skin can start to just sag so yes if you're a little bit older and you know you want to just like keep your skin nice and firm then i highly recommend this guy uh, my mom actually uh, got one last year as well because i had been using it she is using it now she loves it and basically what it what it is is just a micro current device so like you can actually go to like spas dermatologists and they have micro current machines and treatments that you can get done there but they're like a thousand dollars per session this device i pay i think it was four hundred dollars i want to say around that much and you can do it anytime at home so it basically just tones your skin it firms your skin it keeps it smooth and it also like lifts everything up and it contours your skin so for me when i use it i usually use it pretty much everywhere like how it tells me to use it i use it here and i do the um these little hold exercises so you take it here and you just hold it like right under your cheekbone and you hold it there like all over here and it just contours your contour like all the places where you're supposed to be contoured it helps to keep those places looking contoured the way that they're supposed to firms your skin tones your skin 
it's anti-aging so it also gets rid of wrinkles so you can do it you do it around your eyes i usually also like to do it right under my eyebrow i hold it there for a few seconds and that lifts your eyebrows your forehead you can do like around your jawline so it's just to keep your skin firm wrinkle free and toned and again contoured that's why i use it just I, I can really really start to see the difference if I don't use it for like a month I can kind of see so I, like I don't know if you guys can tell but like I have like a lot of fat down here and I don't like it so I usually like to use this guy to firm everything and just keep everything nice and lifted so if you are a little bit older and you're looking for something you know to help with that definitely give this a try i know they do have like a 60 day money back guarantee maybe 30 days i'm not really sure <clears throat> but like i said my mom uses it she loves it and i love it as well so okay that's my little gadget okay okay i don't know why i added so many and this is the thing like i don't do videos like this so when i do i'm like oh my god i want to show them everything but let me know if you guys like these types of videos and i'll keep collecting things you know that i like to show you in my favorites i don't know um but anyway the other thing that i love <clears throat> and i'm losing my voice because it's four o'clock in the morning and i'm really tired but anyway the other thing that's my favorite it is this guy right here by glam glow um it is a makeup remover and you guys it takes everything off so good it is oil based so if you have lash extensions or sensitive skin that can break out with oil based products i do not recommend it um if you do have like skin that's prone to prone to breaking out because of oils or whatever i would recommend the garnier micellar cleansing water as you guys see i use this one a lot as well but this guy when I do my skincare and I want to just like go in the bathroom and take my makeup right off, I use this. As you guys can see, it's pretty much gone. Um, yeah, it just, it really is so powerful. It takes everything off. Like the hardest of the most stubborn makeup, like it'll take it right off. It is so, so good. So again, this one is from Glam, Glam Glow and you can get it from their website or Sephora. I think that's everything I could show you a ton more but that would make the video way longer than it already is so let me know if you guys like videos like this i have a lot more things that i would love to share with you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video i know it's totally different from what i usually do on this channel so i hope that you liked it um and yeah thank you for being here and watching don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it but if you didn't that's okay you can give it a thumbs down or whatever you know whatever it's fine it's fine just do all those good things thumbs up thumbs down comment down below all of that subscribe you know all the good stuff um but yeah just remember that if you don't subscribe i just really appreciate you being here and watching don't forget that you can follow me all over social media it is at glitter beauties the same way that is spelled right here which by the way i want to change that name but i don't know what i want to change it to me and my daughter came up with that name when she was like four years old and yeah it, i'm kind of stuck with it now but but i don't know if you guys have any ideas let me know down below anyway i'm gonna get going thank you so much for being here and watching and i really hope to see you on the next one bye